Hello, this is Eloisa with Math Leopard. Today we are looking at the music of the inner spheres, namely Mercury, Venus, and Mars. The closest planet to our Sun is Mercury, whose orbit is much quicker than that of the Earth. Before I tell you just how quickly Mercury flies around the Sun with winged heel, let's analyze that most sacred of numbers, the divine proportion, or golden ratio. To construct a line segment of that length, we first begin with a square of side length 1. We then locate the bisector of the bottom edge, which is at a length of 1 half from either corner. From this point, we draw a diagonal to the top right corner of the square. This diagonal then serves as the radius of a circle, whose arc we subtend from the top of the corner down to an extension of the base. The rectangle constructed with this extended base is called a golden rectangle, and that base has length phi, the golden ratio. To find an exact value for phi, let's return to the square. In particular, the triangle made inside by extending the diagonal from the midpoint of its base. We note that by construction, the height has length 1, and hence the base has length 1 half. Using the Pythagorean theorem, and noting that the square of 1 half is 1 fourth, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the sides of this right triangle is 5 fourths. Hence the hypotenuse has length equal to the square root of 5 fourths, or the square root of 5 divided by 2. Hence the square root of 5 over 2 is the length of the radius of the circle, whose arc we extended to the base. Therefore we see that the value for phi will include 1 half, as measured from the bottom left corner to the point where our diagonal begins, plus the radius of the circle, which is adjacent and collinear to it, so square root of 5 over 2. Hence the value for the golden ratio phi is equals to 1 plus root 5 all over 2. Going back to the orbital period of Mercury, and noting that the frequency must be calculated in cycles per second, an amazing relationship develops between the orbital period of Mercury and that of the Earth. They are related by the cube of the golden ratio. Amazingly, when we multiply the orbital period of Mercury, 87.969365 days, by the cube of the golden ratio, we approximate the orbital period of the Earth. Calculating the frequency of Mercury, we first translate days into hours, followed by hours into minutes, and then minutes into seconds. Reducing the units of days, hours, and minutes leaves us with a frequency of one cycle every 7,600,533.136 seconds or 1.31 times 10 to the negative 7th hertz. In order for this to be audible, we need to raise it up 30 octaves. Hence, we multiply the frequency through by 2 to the 30th power. What results is a frequency of 141.2715371 hertz, or approximately a C sharp. Let's consider the second planet from the Sun, Venus, the morning star, evening star, and light bearer of myth. The orbital period of Venus is intimately linked to that of the Earth. In fact, they are related by a single factor of the golden ratio. The Earth's orbital period is approximately phi times that of Venus's, or phi times 224.7 days. Converting from days into seconds, and reducing our units, we arrive at a frequency of one cycle every 19,414,080 seconds, or 5.1 times 10 to the negative 8th hertz. This frequency must be raised 32 octaves to be heard, hence multiplying through by 2 to the 32nd power yields a frequency of 221.229.5044 hertz, approximately an A. Finally, let's look at the fourth planet from the Sun, Mars. Our warlike and difficult neighbor has an orbital period whose fifth power is related to the fifth power of our orbital period by a factor of phi to the sixth power. This shows that the harmony between our two planets is achieved only through the equivalent exponentiation of our respective frequencies. And what is the orbital period for Mars? It's 687 days, which, when given in hertz by way of translating hours, minutes, and seconds, 
then reducing the factors of days, hours, and minutes yields a quotient of one cycle every 59,356,800 seconds, or 1.6 times 10 to the negative eighth hertz. In order to hear this, it must be raised through 33 octaves, so we multiply it through by 2 to the 33rd power. This gives us a frequency of 144.7169422 hertz, approximately 8D. Now let's listen to the music of the spheres as they were meant to be heard in conjunction with the frequency of the Earth. Let's first listen to the Ohm Mercury microtone, whose entwined serpents inspire our higher intellect and refine communication, enriching our alchemical intelligence. The Ohm Venus sixth, as would be expected, emits love, harmony, and balance. The Ohm Mars Minor Second activates the energetic potential of body, mind, and spirit. And finally, the union of Mars and Venus balances the archetypes of both into a soothing frequency of creative energy. Thanks for watching. I hope to release the music of the outer spheres, Jupiter and Saturn, soon. Please subscribe to be updated when it's posted. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.